Don't know what happened to my video earlier, but this is where we are. Didn't leave you. I ain't forget about you. So, what I have going on over there, I'm making some teriyaki. Alright? I'm going to show you what's going on over there. Let's go. Let's walk together. Come on. Let's go together, big baby. This is how it's supposed to be. You know? So, you see, uh, you see that there? All right, let me turn this camera around, man. Look at that. Okay? So, what that is, Publix, I ain't trying to advertise you, but anyway, that's a little bit of soy sauce. That's about a, uh, a half a cup of soy sauce. Some sugar, some butter. All right? And it reduced. It reduced to a thick, a nice thick consistency of the sauce, man. Look at that. Alright. So what we are about to do now, we're gonna add some honey. Alright. Cut that up a little bit. We're gonna get us some honey going. Alright, let me show you something here. I know y'all hear that good old Bilal. Y'all don't know about Bilal. That's enough honey there. Alright. I'm going to add some garlic to this bad boy. So let's go. I'm going to show y'all what to do with this garlic. Let's uh, cut this up a little bit. You're going to see it turn up. Watch. Oh, I ain't had it on. There you go. Alright. So, while that's getting hot, that honey's in there, we're going to cut up our veggies, the garlic, and uh, we're going to make it happen. Captain. Alright. Come on. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing, baby. Alright, bingo, bingo. So, alright. You peel our garlic like I showed you the first time. Just so you see, it's chunky. Look, as you can see, our teriyaki is boiling like it's supposed to be. We're going to add this uh, garlic in here, like so. Show y'all something. We're going to add some, uh, a, little, uh, a little bit of aqua. Alright. 
put that there. Show y'all something. This is what our cabbage turned out to be, baby. You understand? Now watch what I do. So, since our cabbage is already cooked, and I told you I put it on that rack for a reason. The reason was because I didn't want it to be greasy or taste uh, too much like poultry. You understand? The poultry that's in there, of course, is, is turkey. And uh, you don't really want that taste too much. You 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 want to taste the love that I put into it. You understand? So if you ever want anybody to taste the love that you put into it, depending on what you're cooking, this is the way to do it. You kind of don't want it to sit in its juices. It's going to make its own juices. It's cabbage, right? Right. Right. So... What we're doing. That's the Tupperware there. You get them out of my hands, baby. Lay them in here. Look, they came out perfect, man. Look, perfect for me. Look, I'm going to show you. Look at that, man. Look at that. That's perfect, man. All right. Can't say I don't know what I'm doing, people. A lot of people want to know. They say, yo, it looks great. It looks wonderful. But how does it taste? Hey, listen. If you ever want to know how it tastes, man, I have no issues with sending you my food, man. The only thing I ask is that, man, you give me a great review. I send you the food for free. I promise you. You dig? Just, uh, man, just give me uh, straight up reviews, man. That's all I ask. All right. So we're going to dump all that out. All that juice in there. And we're going to want to add our own. That's me. I want to add my own. Everything I do, man, I'm going to make it my own, man. All right. So we rinse that out. We got our bad boy back here boiling. We're gonna throw these back in here. Alright. Like so. Alright. And yes, these are hot. I'm just used to cooking, man. You dig? The heat doesn't really bother me like that anymore. All right, and I've never been a professional cook in my life. You understand? This is just a, a hobby. Now my mom was a professional cook, you know. So a lot of things I got from her, but uh, making it your own is the key. Uh, you would hear me say a lot of that, Pimpy. But make things your own, man. With your own legacy, be All right, so. What we have. Alright. Bingo. So, we're going to pour this on top of here. And then, uh, after we uh, pour this on here, we're going to put it back in the ninja for a little bit. Alright. Now, what's going to happen is this. And I'm going to show you. So, after this cooks, this is gonna reduce because I put enough sugar inside of here, but enough water to not only saturate and marinate the cabbage, all right, but it's gonna leave a caramel glaze on top of this cabbage. And when I tell you it's gonna be sucking, man, that ain't the word for it, man. So. We're gonna put it in that ninja. Alright. Close that up. Bake. We're gonna go down to 250, right? Start it. It's gonna be on 250 for about a good 20 minutes. And then, man, watch the magic. 
Alright? Watch that man. Anyway, uh, I'm drinking this, uh, we're not on tequila tonight, right? But we on tequila over the brother. You understand? This is a mass cow. Alright? But for those of you that don't know what a mass cow is, let's get up close to it. Mass cow. Alright? So, if you don't know what a mass cow is, you need to look it up, man. Uh, what they do to the agave that they make tequila out of, they cook it. They cook it first and then they distill it. And that's what you get. You understand? You get a nice mass cow. Now, if you buy a mass cow, you gotta understand it's very high in alcohol. It has a high alcohol content. A real mass cow is, is way beyond, not way beyond, I'm just saying, beyond your regular 80 proof. You can expect it to be around 90 to 100 proof and even further. All right, but you drink it on the rock. It's nice and smooth, you dig? And uh, just try it, man. If you like smoked foods, you like smoked flavors, you'll like a mass cow. All right, we'll be back.